Morning Church, my name is Beth, I'm from the Manchester Central Campus and we're continuing our Own It series this week and our devotional is on the topic of owning our capacity. We are reading from Matthew 14 verses 13 to 21. It's the story of the Jesus feeding the 5,000. In the NIV it reads, when Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. Hearing of this, the crowds followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. Here we only have five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here to me, is what Jesus said. And he directed the people to sit down and uh, to sit down on the grass. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven And he gave thanks and he broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied and the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was about 5,000 men besides women and children. Over the last few days, we have been looking at taking the initiative and walking in the supernatural. But today, we're going to look at the third thing that can help us increase our capacity and that is partnership and agreement. We have to walk with others. I think that a lot of people would agree. Walking with others is so crucial, hey? Matthew 14 verse 19 says, He directed the people to sit on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven, gave thanks and broke the loaves. And then he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the people. Jesus gave the five loaves and two fish back to the disciples for them to distribute. And together they witnessed a miracle. They were equipped, they were enabled and... They were able to give out food until everybody's needs were met and there was leftovers. I think the thing about partnership is that when you join together with others, you achieve more. You bring what you have to the table. Partnership represents this joint decision of we're going to go in the same direction together. In Amos 3.3, it says, can two people walk together without agreeing on the direction? Elsewhere in Ecclesiastes verses four, uh, sorry, chapter 4, verses 9 to 12, it says, two are better than one because they have good return for their labor. If either of them falls, one can help the other up, but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm, but how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Church, in order for us to increase our capacity, I just pray today that we're gonna take time and we're gonna think and pray for those people in our world, our friends, our leaders, our family, the people in our workplaces, and make a commitment to stay in partnership with them. I hope this has been helpful. God bless you all. Have a great day.